All right, so today I really wanna talk about the importance of the imagination. Oh man, this is such an important subject, such an important thing for you to understand on your journey. Because from the time we're kids, we're always, you know, when you're a child, it's encouraged that you use your imagination, especially in Western culture. That's all I can really speak about. In Western culture, all the books and all the Disney movies you watch and everything is always, you know, encouraging you to really expand and use your imagination. And then you get to a certain age and it becomes like, oh, well, it's just your imagination. This isn't real, so don't really pay attention to it. And you kind of go about the rest of your life with that belief. But I'm here to tell you, oh my goodness, your imagination is the most important thing you've been given. It is a technology that is built into the reality we live in and it allows you to do anything. Your imagination is the construct, it's the substratum that all of this reality plays out in. And you're always and constantly in every moment using your imagination to create the reality that you're experiencing. A lot of people can relate to maybe you're at work or you're doing something in your life and you know something comes up and maybe you can imagine the, the you know something not quite going the way you want it to go and then you kind of think on it and you kind of play that whole scenario out in your mind and we've all experienced this something very similar to that scenario will tend to play out why you use your imagination in the wrong way really but there is no right and wrong way here it's up to you to use it how you like but you kind of took your imagination to a negative place and you got that negative result so what I want to explain is that you're always constantly using your imagination to create the reality around you. Everything that's in your awareness right now is there because in your imagination you accepted that this is the reality you live in, this is the couch you may have, or this is where you work, this is the car you drive. It's all being placed there by you allowing your imagination to accept these things as real. So. One of the practices I encourage you to do is to go into your imagination and really envision the perfect reality for yourself. Go and really see it. Go to a, a scene in that reality that really represents everything that's the essence of how you feel about it. And learn to go into your imagination and feel, feel it. Just really feel into this vision that you're having. And start really capturing the energy of that vision you're having and learn to feel that energy and bring that energy back into people consciousness when you come out of your imagination and start to see how slowly but surely you'll start seeing reality around you reflect those visions that you're having and really make them present right now in this moment which you're envisioning not something in the future and you can go into the past if you like but make it what you want it to be okay so just go into your imagination and bring the energy that you want to really feel, that you want to be a part of, that you want to experience, and just bring that back in when you come out of your imagination. Just breathe it out into the universe and start watching how that energy will be returned to you. It might not be returned exactly the way you saw it, but the essence of the way you felt when you felt that vision will absolutely be returned to you. That's really all I have to say about that. If you like this video, please like and please subscribe. You guys all have a great day.